Everybody, welcome to today's devotion, which comes from James chapter 1 and verse 13. I'm Steve, and our subject is dealing with temptation. James 1.13 says this, When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me, because God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. How often have you been tempted to do the wrong thing? It's been plenty of times for me. The good news from this verse is as follows. The Bible says God cannot be tempted by evil. In other words, he is so good and he is so holy, he cannot even for a minute be tempted to be evil. And second bit of good news is that God doesn't tempt us. He doesn't put sin in our way to see how strong we are spiritually. So temptation is never from God. The bad news is that temptation comes from within. It's our own internal desires pulling us in the wrong direction. The Bible refers to that part of us that pulls on the wrong direction as our flesh. And so temptation is not the same as sin, but temptation is an enticement to sin. And if we follow on the path of temptation, we'll end up doing something that is opposite to how God wants us to do. So this verse says, God doesn't tempt us, but temptation comes from within. So how then do we go about dealing with temptation? Firstly, we learn from the book of Joseph that we should run. We should put distance between ourselves and whatever is tempting us. Don't stick around to see if you're strong enough. Just run. In the story of Joseph, a married woman was flinging herself at him. He didn't stop around to have a conversation. It says he just left his cloak and ran. The second thing we see about how to deal with temptation comes from the story of Jesus. Matthew 4, the devil was tempting him. And every time there were three of them, every time Jesus answered back by quoting a Bible verse from the word of God. So we deal with temptation, first of all, by running. Secondly, by spending time with God, spending time in his word. The wonderful thing is that God, the Holy Spirit lives inside of us and he is helping the part of us that wants to do right, that wants to follow in God's ways. He is helping that part be strong and courageous so that we don't give in to the part of us that wants to pull in the opposite direction. Temptation is an invitation to win the battle, to say no, so that we can walk in God's ways, not the ways of sinful choices. And my prayer for you today and for myself is that God would give us the grace to say no, to put distance between ourselves and temptation, and to spend time with God and in His Word regularly so that we have got that internal strength to answer the temptation when it comes. I hope you have an amazing day today. God bless.